we have a replacement model being sent. Remember this from last month? There was no, no magazine. I wonder if there's one in this one now. Ah, there it is. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek The Official Starship Collection model and magazine review from Eagle Moss Special 22 again. Right, we reviewed this one last time, the model didn't have the magazine with it. You can play into Eagle Moss, she says something, most times they will just, well every time so far I've had with them, I've had problems, they send you a replacement out. All I really wanted was the magazine for the collection. but. They sent a whole lot. Thank you very much, Eagle Moss. I've got two of these now. I can make a, a Vulcan um, task force, but um, we'll have a look into that in a few minutes. But what we didn't get from the last model review was the um, magazine. So let's have a look inside here. T Planner Hath. I got grilled for this last time for not knowing exactly who he was, but I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to show you the magazine. Special number 22. These are always pretty, they're pretty big or pretty special, these are. Right. See, the thing with this is, is you've got, the model comes like that with the landing gear down. But I think someone's actually modified this so to make it look like it's in flight mode. I could probably do that with the spare one. Or I could be unscrupulous and sell it on eBay for forty forty pound, which I'm not going to do. I've had spares from Eagle Moss before, and they'd be just they'd be sat doing virtually nothing. The, only, the best one I did was the Enterprise, the Discovery Prize, and then made it into an older version, but a mirrored mirrored universe version with the um, spines on the end of the warp nacelles and the different stickers on it. That was a pain in the bum to do, but looks absolutely so effective when it's done. So there we go flight mode it does look kind of it looks leather leathery but they've got these really strange patterns in the lines it's not a paneling because it, it i don't know it just looks really odd unless it's vulcans and it's more symmetrical more logical shall we say this is the first contact version of a Vulcan ship. Actually, they don't we don't see many Vulcan ships until the Enterprise series came around. We saw ones with the the, the ring warp drive system or the shuttle. But I still maintain that the shuttle we saw in Star Trek One, the motion picture, is a Federation ship because it did say Federation long range shuttle. Yes, it's called the Surak, but I still think it's a standard Federation ship. Because on the back of it, where the pod comes off from the warp sled, it kind of docks with a standard docking. They probably could have done that anyway on every ship for the Federation, but I don't know. I still maintain that it's a Federation ship, not a Vulcan ship. It's probably a, a Vulcan base ship, but that's going off topic anyway. This is for the T-Planner half. Designing the Vulcan lander. I mean, they would come out of down here, so there's a lot more deck area, unless gravity work differently i know they've got a, a stronger gravity than us ah that's proved me wrong we did have one there was a vulcan ship there that was from the unification episode there was three of them that got destroyed yes and then the vulcan one there it does look brown there it does look vulcan brown even though that's red and that one isn't but i don't know I could be wrong, I probably usually am. It's just the colours that that looks. When I made the model of this when I was a kid, it was a darker brown than that. It was more like a rusty sort of brown. This is kind of a... a it's, it's also a tan colour as well, like a leathery colour. But the model that Elmos did, did it in Federation colours. It did it more of a grey. So you take from Star Trek what you get from it, to be honest. It's a bit... Yeah, make it up as you. We all make our own little, nice little minds out of things, and it all seems to work. That's fine. So, surely the landing gear comes down. Oh, okay, that would be interesting. The landing gear swoops is level with everything, comes down to land, or could go behind. Ooh. Okay, so which way would I do? 
these up or down. Ah, so that's a project for another day, that, I think. So you have there the model. I think I thought all these were built a study model for himself. Okay, I'm going to say all, the, all CGI. Everything was CGI back then. But he did a study model for himself. So that's quite nice. Oh, John Eves again. A lot of John Eves' design are very pointy. Not, not a bad thing. Just, just this, this sort of design work. It screams at you. Yes, they made one of the feet to make something that big. Or is it with it that big? Mm, yeah, that big. So I made one of the feet for the actual guy coming out, the Vulcan coming out and making first contact with Zephyr Cochrane. Goody. A few different designs, what they could have done, or different parts of the ship. They're very nice. It does look very red, doesn't it? Design the ship. If you want to read any of these, either go out and buy your own magazine or just pause it and you should be able to make them make them out on the video. So, so as we're going for the full Monty, should we say, let's get this open. Standard artwork on the box, you know the usual. There's a rattle in here. I think the other one rattled as well. So open up, two fingers in. Ah, the rattle is exactly the same as last time. It is the stand which comes out of there. So, model. After that, we go on the underneath side, which actually isn't too bad if it's sat there. So that's not bad at all. Paul staring everywhere. And it will go either way. So that's good. So, as usual, I don't like using the stands, but I will show you what the number is. So, 4762A slash A. So, for replacement, it's still batch one, which is quite good. So, box over there. It is a nice model, this. When I reviewed it last time, if you haven't watched that, fine. You don't need to watch both of them to, to get a full review what's going on. I'll do the full one on this now anyway. Because I'm lovely events on there which look like they've been brushed on the top to get the the bronzing sort of effect. Which is really nice. But then you got your green behind it. It's obviously a flat colour on the back and then washed over. But it is quite nice and very well done. Very little bleeds over except for the green coming up. On that section there. But this is a ship of three copies. So you've got the centre section, but you've got three legs coming off for the landing legs, all exactly the same. You've got three rockets, boosters, whatever's, the engines, all exactly the same. If I showed you there, turn it around. If I showed you there, it's there, it's there. So they're all exactly the same, very three-sided symmetrical. It's quite nice, really. You know, these extra detail... Oh, there you go. Extra detail parts on the back there. You see what I say about all these lines on here? It's so much like leather. It's quite... Actually, that's more like marble, that, that paintwork on there. The rest of the scratches, the lines... See the symmetrical markings on there? Or possible drawing with a pencil. But it does look good. Maybe it's some sort of, in case there's a problem, here's where we are. I don't know. Because it's a similar sort of picture that's on the Voyager probes. There's kind of a, a picture of the galaxy or solar system and points to us. Hmm. I think the white bits on here. Yeah, it's more polystyrene. Been left on. It's very, very leathery, old-fashioned leather. It is nice. I mean, you've got a lot of detail work under here. It's like the hinges for the, for the landing gear. So how would that come off then? I don't think it would. I think these sections here would slide straight into there. So how you'd mod it, I don't know. 
I mean, this is obviously in the landing way, so you'd need to, shall we say, nip this up, but you won't be able to. To bring them down again, I don't know, you'd have to heat it and try and bend the whole thing down, which would then ruin the model completely. So I don't think that is going to be an option. I'll have a look in to see what the person did who modified this, to see what it was, or if you've got a link or know who the person who modded this model to make it into the um, flight position instead of the landing position, then please comment below or get in touch some other way. Hmm, I'm not sure these are actually... Uh, these are obviously pods being stuck in. I'm not 100% certain it was the landing legs that he did. I think it might have even been these that they got turned round. But it would look odd because the bottom half of this doesn't work with any other part. Hmm. I don't know. There's things you can always do with models to either kit bash them or to change them for somehow. It reminds me a little bit of a. If you remember Starship Troopers got them little. little. Um, yeah, they'd scurry across the floor aliens. For some reason, it's reminding me of that. I don't know why. It is nice. It just. it's everything is in three. The rule of three. Three legs, three engines, three arms. Everything's a three-pointed star. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. But I can see these, the landing legs, if it's on for too long like that, the weight of all this will push it down and these will... Well, I'd put good bunny on that they will break or you'll go and you'll accidentally break it because there's, there's a lot of weight been put onto here. I can't figure out what's the metal. I think the metal part is ow, there. Those look like the plastic. Oh, these are metal as well, the side bits, and the plastic parts across there. So metal, plastic, plastic. It looks like this. I'm trying to take with temperature actually, because it's usually colder where the metal is. So I'm not sure if these are. That's definitely plastic. Hmm. They're plastic. It might just be that section in underneath then. All these three parts. That's got die cast. It says with the hair stuck to it. So, yeah. Again, with Eagle Master, this is one of these models you would never have found in a model shop, in a enthusiast website trying to do these sort of stuff. You'd never have seen these. Thought that was loose then. Oh, it is loose. Oh, it's loose on there as well. OK, let's leave that be. For the time being. If it's loose, I'm able to modify it with something. If not, then we'll um, see what we can do in the future with that, to be honest. And with the rest of the, the spares that was sent my way, not many as, as, as other channels on this uh, on YouTube, but occasionally I get sent a replacement for one that was either damaged or missing, which is nice that they don't ask for these the other ones back, but... I would be quite happy with just having the model for this, to be honest, with the full review. But other than that, done. So that's Special 22, the Vulcan T Planner Hath lander from First Contact. There we go. Finally, fully done and reviewed. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on social media, and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.